In this video I want to show you how to prepare a file for the TVM802 pick and place machine. Basically we can do this with uh, every layout program but I am working with Eagle so I show you how that works with Eagle. Here I have a sample board which is a relay controller with a microprocessor, a couple of MOSFETs and uh, diodes, capacitors and a power supply as well. And uh, two special components which is this one and this one. These are the fiducials and uh, the only thing which is important is to give it the right name. The fiducial 1 must have the name FID1 and fiducial 2 must have the name FID2. What we do first is to export the SMD coordinates and in Eagle we do this with an ULP execute ULP the name is mount SMD we have it here mount SMD.ULP open and this ULP stores the X and Y coordinates of the components on the hard drive with the extension MNT for the top side and MNB for the bottom side in this case only the top side is populated so we use the MNT file. Now as we have the list of coordinates of our SMD components we also have to make a reference of the components to a stack or tray of the TVM802 pick and place machine. This can be a really hard job and uh, any mistake will result in a wrong placed component. But uh, we can use a program available at GitHub which makes this job very easy because it contains a database and makes the assignment fully automatically. So we go to the GitHub website and we search for the program Eagle to TVM. Uh, again, this is not only limited to Eagle, it can be used with any layout program. So we navigate here to the download directory Eagle to TVM bin release and we found the Eagle to TVM dot executable here. We download it and start it under Windows. This is Eagle to TVM. It's available in German and English language. For this video I will switch to English. The first thing we do is to fill the database containing the population of the stack and trays in our pick and place machine. We go to the top stack tray and I have already entered here all the components. In the example uh, here back stack number 8 has a real containing capacitors with 100 nanofarads in a 0603 case and the speed uh, is set to 50 but I don't want 50 I want to set it to 100 percent and we do not need vision and we use nozzle one, number 1 which is my small nozzle so we fill all these components which are physically installed in the TVM802. The next thing we do is we go to the load save tab and here we open the previously generated eagle file. The .mnt file open. So the conversion is now already done and we can go to the top devices tab and we see all the components from this eagle file. The X and Y coordinates are already inserted but uh, not the other information. In example until now it is not known in example the 100 nanofarads capacitor where it is in which stack and we could do that uh, manually here and enter the stack number but it's much more convenient to let the program do it automatically by pressing the auto stack button. Assign stack tray values automatically I press OK 
and what we see here now the software has taken the information from the database and filled it into this list so 100 nanofarads are as we have seen previously are in the backstack number 8 and also it has filled the speed and it would also fill vision and height and rotation and pressure and everything else so the next uh, thing we do is we go to the fiducial stub and what we can see here the coordinates of FID1 and FID2 is already inserted here automatically but the real coordinates are not inserted because uh, these uh, coordinates are made on the TVM802 machine with the help of the camera so it's still zero here now finally we go to the load safe PMP files and press generate TVM802 files we give it a name press save and it's done now this file can be directly loaded in the TVM802 and used for pick and place now we go to the software of the TVM802 pick and place machine we start the software press load and load the previously saved file which is test ABC TVM802 top side and immediately we can see the list filled with all the data we have entered in our Eagle 2 TVM program before so we are almost ready for pick and place the only thing we have to do is to enter the, co the real coordinates of the two fiducials so we go to PCB config and we can see here the coordinates of the fiducials in the board but their real coordinates are still zero so to enter these real coordinates we install the board in the machine and then we go to manual and move the camera to the fiducial 1 and fiducial 2 so first to fiducial 1 we go to PCB config go here and press set XY and then the real coordinates will be here then we do the same thing for fiducial 2 the real coordinate will be here we press OK and uh, the things are done so we are ready for pick and place don't forget to save the file to save the real coordinates uh, into our file